the guests continue yes. here in I love the studio it. that we I call The Rink. Blake yeah. Lazat and Adrian Kempe here uh, to chat hockey with us. Obviously coming off a loss last night to the Washington Capitals. We have to talk about Ovechkin every single day, and we've run out of things <laughs> to say. As guys that were on the ice against him last night, how incredible is what he's doing to you guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's uh, one of the best players all time in the league, and uh, yeah, it's I mean, it's always fun to play those guys, especially when you're a young guy coming up to the league as well, and uh, see the things that he can do. And obviously, it's uh, it's tough being on the other <laughs> yeah. the other team, but I mean, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's it's got to be, you know, it's just we were just talking about it. He's got 14 goals in his last seven games. I mean, it's hard to score goals in this league. He's averaging two a game. It's ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, he's a player. Uh, you know, I've grown up watching. Um, you know, he's an unbelievable player, and then you play him, and you realize how good he really is. Yeah. Uh, you fall asleep for half a second. It's the back of your net. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, last night I think it was four minutes and twenty some seconds. Yeah. He had three goals. So, uh, yeah, he's a type of player that you can't you can't lose at all. Yeah, one of the best scorers of all time. Absolutely. Might go down as the best. Might I guess be. time Might will well tell. Be, yeah. uh, we will see. Well, we just had your teammate Alex in here. What can you guys tell us about what he's like as a teammate off the ice? Uh, well, yeah, he's he's a great guy, you know. Uh, I, uh, me and Alex started playing together in the same, we had the same rookie season, and uh, I got to know him pretty pretty quick, and we've been really good friends since. And uh, you know the, you know his, uh, the way he's been playing uh, the last couple of seasons has been really good for us, and especially show show how how good he is this year, and uh, he gets to produce more as well. And I mean, obviously that's uh, that's good for the team, but I mean he's he's been one of our best players for sure this year. All right, we got to, I think we need to get a shot of these shoes. I can't yeah, help it. Like, nice. I, 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 the shoes are nice. What are, yeah, where did the styling. shoes come from? Uh, I think I bought them back home, actually. I think they're okay. pretty, I think they're, you can get them here in the U.S. for sure, too. But, I mean, like. <laughs> they're a nice touch. They're a nice touch. They're a nice is. touch. Who is, like, the most, I mean, you guys are out in L.A., right? Like, Hollywood's right there. Like, who's the most stylish guy on the L.A. Kings? Like, who's got the best style? Um, I don't know if this guy would say it, but it's probably. <laughs> Oh, he does okay. look, he does look yeah. like he's got some style there. Yeah. I like it. Better than us, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to go far to beat me. I mean, you know, come out of here, get out of bed. You're already ahead of the game against me. But, uh, no, I like that. Yeah, I mean, they're nice. Must be fun. That. Is it fun to play, like, in L.A.? I mean, you guys come from different places, a lot of times cold weather environments. Hockey is, is that way. Then you go, in your, you go in your professional career. You're in Los Angeles, California. I mean, that's got to be a different kind of vibe. Yeah, uh, it's unbelievable for me. Uh, I grew up small town, Minnesota, cold winters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah long winters. Exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, coming to L.A., I never thought I'd be here, uh, you know, two, three years ago. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, I absolutely love it, though. Um, going down to the beach and you know, whatever on the days off is, is amazing. And um, I guess the guys in the room as well. Um, it's been an amazing experience for me. So is long. it weird coming from Minnesota, like playing hockey and then being able to leave and go to the beach? Like, that must be just a mind trip for someone from Minnesota, I would think. Yeah, like going to the practice. This in shorts uh, is crazy. Oh, yeah. um, it's always a summertime hockey. Yeah, like game. in Canada, that's like a dad move, right? Like that's like there's, <laughs> there's guys that show up at the rink when you're playing hockey. They have like the cargo shorts on, but it's yeah. like it's not cool. It's like why do you have shorts on? It's yeah. January. Yeah. But there, it would make sense. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I, about? You coach. You know hockey. why? I, I I know someone who has that exact same. MO, there's always so, one. Every yeah. team. I played hockey yeah. growing up too. There's yeah. always one dad yeah. showing up in cargo shorts. Yeah. But uh, that's not the point. I don't know no. what I'm doing right now talking about that. But let's have some fun um, for our viewers out there because whenever we have guys in studio we like to kind of get to know your personality mm -hmm. a little bit so we're gonna play a little game here I'm gonna ask you questions about Blake and we'll see if you all if right. you know the answers okay. okay all right all right um, let's see do you know Blake's favorite activity outside of hockey uh, hmm. that's tough uh, fishing it's not fishing. It's golf, correct? Correct. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I, it would be funny if hey, I had wrong information. I know. There, you, that wasn't a bad guess, uh, though. No, that's a good guess. Minnesota? Minnesota, guy, yeah. Right. I think that's a good guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does he have any pets? And if so, what is the pet's name? I think you have a dog, but... Correct. I, I don't know the name of it. Bauer, right? Correct, yeah. Why Bauer? I mean, aside from the obvious. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> when you're 10 years old, you know, you aren't really thinking you think it's cool. Okay, okay. Go. okay. Good answer. Um, do you know Blake's favorite podcast? Spitting Chickles. 
Correct. There Correct. you go. Of course. There you go. Of course. That's another good guess, even if you didn't know. I, I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good, good guess. guess by you. Biz and Wit will be happy to yeah. hear that. Well, yes. yes Wit, they a, will. a common co host on this show. That's have right. you tried the Pink Whitney? Like, I have not yet. You have no, not? No, okay. I haven't. All right, well, Wit's going to have to send you guys. Uh, he has. He <laughs> has. I like that. I, uh, Is I, uh, it good? Uh, they sent me some, but I haven't tried it yet. I yeah. shouldn't say that on the air. I totally had some, and it was great. My wife yeah. liked it. I, she tried it. She liked it. I haven't gone down is that road just, yet. Is it just? Is it? Is it? Ask uh, him. He tried it. Is it a vodka or is it a like a mix? It's, it's kind of a mixed vodka, I guess. It's yeah. uh, hmm. it's good. I don't mind it at all. Okay. okay. Um, let's keep going here. What is <laughs> Blake's favorite movie? That's a tough. One. Yeah, that's really that's tough. A tough one. It's an Adam Sandler movie. Does that help? Um, I don't know. Grown up. No. No. Happy Gilmore, oh. right? Yeah, that's yeah, old correct. school. That's not bad, yeah, though. That's old school. That's that is. Like, that's, yeah, that's, a nine... that's super old yeah, school, but it's yeah. good. No, it's not I like that it. far. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Super old school. I mean, it's the 90s. Yeah, that's a long time ago, dude. That's like 20 All right, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> all right, all right. So now that we saw how well you know Blake, do you want to do a little bit of rapid fire about you? Is sure. that cool? I'll just yeah. ask you some all right. totally random questions, but I'm going to start with one that should make you pretty comfortable. What is your go-to hockey cliche during, like, an intermission interview? Like, I come up to you in the first period, and I'm like, guys are down one nothing. Uh, you know, what do you guys got to fix going into the second period? Uh, you know, what, what have you seen so far? Uh, I mean, obviously, there's always... Uh, Get the pucks behind their D's. Ah, and, uh, yeah. uh, you gotta get the four check going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sound advice. Like that. That's good. Sound advice. <laughs> Worse <laughs> most times. Never yeah. anything yeah. wrong with getting the four check going, oh, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, how about your favorite movie? Uh, okay, my favorite movie. Um, Obviously, not Happy Gilmore. Not Happy Gilmore. Um, I'm not a big movie guy, actually. I don't watch a lot of movies for okay. shows. TV all, shows? So. No, none of that? Uh, I would say uh, Prison Break. Oh, Prison Break was okay, a good Okay, okay. Um, have you ever had a real job? And if so, what was it? Never had a real job. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love you're it. You're so lucky. Yeah. What about yeah. you? Have you ever had a job? I have, yeah, actually. What was it? I was 15. I worked at our little market in town called Brinks Market. Um, okay. Yeah, I was a bag boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice plug for Brinks Market. Yeah, there you so go. If you're in the area, you you're in the area of Brinks Market, stop in. You know what? I used to ask that question all the time and get really interesting answers, but yeah. now the most common answer is like, no, nah, I just play. Yeah, <laughs> I just well, been playing hockey for a long time. That's good. We like that. Mm -hmm. All like right. That. Uh, do you have a pet peeve? I don't know. You do no, there's nothing that annoys you. Not really. I mean, cats kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an incredible oh, well. answer. So you're a dog person? Yeah, for sure. Dog uh, person for sure. Okay. Cat last... lovers, don't be mean to him. I mean, yeah, just, yeah. you know, it's a quick answer. It would have been worse if you said he had a problem with dogs, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people would have been uh, like in yeah. an uproar. Okay. okay, last question. Obviously, you're a professional hockey player for a reason. You're a good athlete. What is something that you are bad at? Um, uh, I'd say cooking. Okay. Okay. Do you do you ever cook or do you? Barely. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. So you don't cook. All right. No. All right. Uh, cool. All right. Yeah. So well, I think that's enough rapid fire. For yeah. You. I, I, enough. Hey, I want to just check in on one because I asked Alex this because it is exciting. They're go they're going to play outdoors, the big stage, Air Force. Alex talked about he was excited. What about you guys? Have you ever? I mean, in Minnesota, you guys you've played it outdoor hockey. But have you ever played in a scenario like this with a big crowd and uh, kind of a big stage? Uh, yeah, uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to see the Wild game. I think it was back in 16, the stadium. Super oh, yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, TCF yeah. Bank Stadium. I was there for that and kind of see the energy around it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, kind of playing hockey where it's roots um, outdoors is pretty cool, pretty special. Um, when you get to do it at the National Hockey League level is, is even more special, so I'm really looking forward to it. How do you, how do you feel about the big stage like that. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Obviously, you've watched all, all the games yeah. and how big the crowds and, and the hype is around it. And obviously, uh, it's going to happen to us now. So uh, I'm very excited to, to be part of it as well. Yeah, and you, you get walk this, through that tunnel. It's like... You get the walkout. Yeah. You get the yeah. new gear, right? Like, you, yeah. get, a, you get a new look yeah, jersey. Absolutely. You get the tukes. Exactly. Like it's, yeah, it's nice. Wins all around, really. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Thanks for coming in. We yeah, appreciate thank you so the much. time. Thank you. Uh, best of luck the rest of the season. And, and, of course, have fun in Colorado at the same time. Absolutely. It's going to be Thanks. awesome.